So how to prevent a $50,000 repair that could cost you as a homeowner? I want to walk you through this dangerous crack here I have here. And this um, job that we came out downtown Toronto here to do this repair that the city closed this building down. So if they did have a hang line over this window, they could have prevent this huge repair that they have here. As you see here, it cracked right in the middle just because they didn't have a hang line underneath the bottom. If we go down, we have the same issue. So if you look here, you see we have the same crack right in the, in the sill. You see we have another crack right in the, in the precast. This building might be a uh, hundred years old, but newer building I've, I've witnessed myself that contractors is doing the same thing. They have a precast or they have a sill over the top of the, the window or the door. And because it's such a big precast, this one looks to me like it's around 12 inches. Yeah, so it's 11 and a half. So usually when they have like such a big precast over the window or the door, most of the time they tend to skip the process of installing a hang iron over the top of the door or the window. Now for such a broad area, you always want to go with the six inches by four, six inches high by four inches project out this way, sitting on top of your, your window. You want to have at least a overhang of six inches or eight inches over on either side of your door or your window just so that you have enough support to bear the weight of the above that's gonna go on top of your angle iron. Now our job here is to fix this problem but I made this video so for you homeowners or contractors out there can see these type of work who, is, who are doing these type of thing here without putting angle iron over your windows or your door. It only takes a few, maybe a few hundred dollars just to buy your angle iron and put it over. Look how easy this would save this client a $50,000 repair. That's what, you know, that's what the cost of this job is gonna cost them. All it would have to take is just to put an angle iron over here, rest it on top of that side, rest it on top of this side, and then you would install your, your stone right on top of your angle iron. All this $50,000 would uh, preventable. So it's just a video, like I said, I'm gonna say it again. Do the job right, do it once and for all and get the job done right. So now our job is to take these, these guys down. This is gonna be a very technical job as well because while taking the brick down, because we have to remove all these brick above in order to take this out. And it's the same thing down here. We have to remove all this sill in order to get that down there out. Now, once you're removing it, it's a possibility that this might come down. It can be very risky, can be very dangerous. We have a window here, we have another window down there, and we also have another window down there. I wanna take you over the other side that we already done, so that way you have a, a idea of what we're about to do here. And that way you can prevent, in case you see a, your contractor is doing something like this, you can be like, no. Ryan from 1KB Construction said that you need to put a hang iron above the window and the door in order to bear the weight of the load that's gonna carry above. Remember this, and if it's such a big stone, you wanna use the bigger hang iron, which would be the six inches by around four to three and a half inches to help to bear and hold the weight that's gonna carry that. So the hang iron is what's gonna carry the load. So bear that in mind. It's very important. I've seen it several times. I know this building probably be 100 years old, but I see newer building that contractor is doing stuff like these. Even if you have a, a, a steel or a rebar running inside of your precar, I would still recommend you to put a hang iron right on top of your window. Now I'm gonna take you over there, show you the side that we already completed. That way you have an idea of what we're gonna do here and hope you learn from this if you're watching this as a contractor. And I wanna know from you guys out there who is watching the video as a contractor, how much would you charge to do a job like this? Look, look at it, we're gonna take out this sill, we're gonna show you over there what we have done and what we're gonna do in order to bring it back up. Let's go over there. All right, as you already seen here, we remove all the bricks from here, going all the way over there. Here I leave these ones out because I want to be able to tie 
the corner come all the way up here if you look down closer low down we already removed all the bricks over here we already did the same thing down there so we're gonna do the same thing over there all right so remember the note is to always put an angle iron okay so if you didn't take anything away from this video take one thing always put an angle iron or a lintel same thing over your window or your door to prevent this repair that you see this homeowner here is paying to do this job leave a comment in the bottom let me know if you as a contractor ever experienced anything like this before how much would you charge as a contractor to do the job leave a comment i'll be happy to hear from you hope you learned something from this as a homeowner as a contractor who is doing jobs like this make sure that you do it the right and proper way always give the video a thumbs up thank you for watching peace out